if you're a subscriber to my channel, then you've already seen my in-depth review of Kawasaki's class-leading and innovative engine and supercharger driveline. If you haven't seen this great video, click on the info card above. When it comes to trims, Kawasaki released the new 310 in three trims. The 310X, which is the base model, the LXS, the mid-range model, and the LX, the top of the line model. I chose the LXS because I believe it's the perfect balance of flagship technology coupled with old school functionality. What do I mean by that? Well, first of all, you get Kawasaki's signature LED visibility lights. These lights just look mean out on the water. I can't tell you how many times I've been stopped and asked about the ski. You also get Kawasaki's new signature rear view high definition safety camera. This feature is great if you tow a wakeboarder or skier or if you have kids on a tube behind you. It really helps increase your situational awareness out on the water. Nothing says pure Kawasaki like lime green. Besides this awesome paint scheme, the LXS also features raised chrome Kawasaki lettering along the gull wing doors. While the massive new Ultra Deck makes water sports like wakeboarding and skiing a breeze and allows riders of any age to board easily, even from choppy water. The best part is the Ultra Deck is also fully removable and accommodates a variety of accessories via Kawasaki's integrated multi-mount rails. You'll notice that the LXS to the right is missing the speakers and meter visor found on the LX trim to the left. The LXS also lacks the lower jet sound speakers, giving you more room in the forward footwells. Hey guys, JD here with the 2022 Kawasaki Ultra 310 LXS supercharged jet ski. I just got back from an ocean ride and I'm just here by the mangroves, so I'm gonna stop and get, grab a drink. Have not had any issues, so to say. Fingers crossed. Take her out in the ocean and run her pretty hard and never had any real issues at all. All three skis in the new Kawasaki Ultra 310 lineup include Kawasaki Signature 22 and a half degree fiberglass and gel coat deep V hull, as well as the new seven inch TFT display, five way adjustable handlebar, and new Kawasaki Smart Reverse and Deceleration. All three trims are powered by Kawasaki's proven market-leading 310 horsepower 1498cc four-cylinder dual overhead cam marine engine, boosted by a belt-driven Eaton TVS supercharger that produces a whopping 16.8 pounds of boost. All Ultra 310s also include a stock blow-off valve, catch can, and intercooler. They also all include the same launch control mode and the same engine management system. I'll show you in the compartment here. I always keep a floating, see? Floating VHF radio with me. And then I've got my dry bag. This is made by Kawasaki and it's designed to fit right in the compartment there. And then also, here in the front compartment, we've got our Kawasaki cooler. And this cooler here has got just enough room for a couple drinks, nice cold bottle of water for your ride. Well, I hope this video was helpful in explaining the differences between the LXS and the other Ultra 310 trims. If you like this video, make sure to leave a comment, click the like button, and subscribe to my channel.